Now I've lived in my camper van for the best part of four years now and I've come to realise that having cupboards in my kitchen unit is a really bad idea. After all, it takes up quite a lot of space and you're quite limited to what you can actually fit in this cupboard. And not only that, stuff like washing up liquid, detergent, things like this, when I'm driving it all ends up falling over or just rattling around all over the place. So today I'm going to take these cupboards out, well actually no you can't take them out, I'm going to take my cupboard doors off and replace them with some nice big chunky drawers. I'm going to keep this bottom drawer as deep as possible so that I can fit my air fryer in it and I'm hoping I can replicate one of these drawers up here to fit around about here. So I'm going to end up with another shallow drawer, a really deep drawer and if all goes to plan I'm going to also take this cupboard and turn this into drawers as well and these ones will be really narrow, quite long perfect for all my bits and bobs. So that's my plan for today. You know when you pop into Aldi's for a pint of milk and you end up coming out with a set of drill bits? Well, that's me. And boy am I glad I was here. I'm going to draw some pilot holes in these. These two pieces are 34 by 34 on my draw, draw runners. Regular viewers will know. I don't use metal draw runners simply make me own. I'll take you in the van and I'll show you what I mean. Now as I was saying, I don't actually use those any flash drawer runners in my van. I make all the runners myself. My drawers simply sit on top of these. I'll simply place this in here. This is the divider across there again. This is just a piece of 34 by 34. Look at that for precision. <laughs> now these screws aren't very long and they are literally just to hold it in place while the glue dries. So that's going to stay there like that. I've really marked it at the back so I know it's nice and level, nice and square. That's all I'm going to do now. Simply run a bead of glue down the back of this. Now I know that it fits like that. Put that into place. Check my mark at the back. Let's see where it's going and I'll screw that there for my screwdriver. There we go. Line that up, make sure it's turning the right way. See what and that now once I've once I've built the square drawer, the drawer will simply slide on there like that. Really simple, easy. No soft sliders required in my camper van. <laughs> now this piece of plywood here used to be the shelf in my original cupboard, but now I'm going to transform this into a actual drawer. Because it fits in here so well, I might as well use this as the base for my big drawer. <laughs> it's what's known as upcycling, I do believe. Excellent, and I don't have to paint it. So I've got my panels all done, yeah, I've glued them up, yeah. now all I've got to do is put the drawer together. <laughs> this can be quite challenging sometimes, just the front of the drawer. Side of the drawer. I've already put masking tape in place. So hopefully this will go together quite easily. There we go. Is it gonna work? Yeah, I can't get away from this. Right. This is the back of the drawer. Hopefully that will fit in now. Oh, that bit's moved. Yeah. 
There we go. Really pleased with that. Now I've done the sides really shallow so that when there's stuff in here, like my air fryer for instance, I can easily grab the air fryer and lift it out. Because my last air fryer, I accidentally dropped it because I didn't get a hold of it with two hands. I tried lifting it out of the cupboard one-handedly. One-handedly? <laughs> anyway, I dropped the air fryer and it broke. So that's why I've built the sides shallow so that I can actually grab the air fryer from both sides and lift it up out the drawer in the hope that I don't actually drop it again and break it. Right, let's put this to one side and I'll let the glue dry. Now the glue's dried, all I need to do now is make a drawer front. And this is where the crafty bit comes into play. This is what I like to do. Cut a good old cladding. I cut this to size to fit on the front of the drawer, but I'm not gonna glue this on the front of the drawer on the bench. What I do is put the drawer inside the van, put it in situ, and then glue the front on. It's a little bit windy, so let's go in the van and I'll show you what I mean. Squash my thumb, look, and it doesn't have to bleed now. I might have to get a knife to do this. Right, now that I've got rid of the masking tape, or most of it anyway, I'll show you how the drawer works. So what I do to put the drawer in place, just tip it up underneath that first ridge, and then it slides into place like that. And then when I open the drawer, that ridge at the back is going to stop the drawer from coming out unintentionally. To get the drawer out intentionally, then you need to lift it to get it out. Really simple system. No sliders involved, nothing fancy. It works, and that's what we want. Right, so now the drawer front fits in the recess because I've made the drawer short enough that it goes right in. So now what I do I glue that in situ. We leave that to dry, and once that's dried, we know it's going to sit in the right place. We can take it all out, sand it down, and give it a coat of paint. Right, let's just get this glued in place. Obviously, I've had to cut this one down to fit, so it suits it. Like that. I mean, at this stage, if you really wanted to, you could actually put the handle in place as well. <laughs> Fantastic. So all I've got to do now is wait for the glue to dry and then we can sand it down and paint it. First I'm going to finish off that one. So much better than having cupboards. I'm not quite happy about this one, the way it's bending, the, the cladding is actually bent. If I take it out and show you, you can see there's actually a gap there. So I'm going to get some of my little clamps and actually clamp this one together. Now I've put the handle in, it's all been held in position. I've taped the bottom bit up. Yeah, it's a real shame that it really is bent, look. So I've got no choice but to actually clamp this into place whilst it dries. Otherwise it's gonna look really naff. So these are my little tiny clamps. They're absolutely perfect for situations like this. Simply gonna put that on there like that. Clamp it down. And then once that glue dries, it'll be perfectly fine. Oh, this one's just fell apart. Maybe not so perfect after all. Followed <laughs> it to time. Let's go get another one. Look, the end of this one just fell off. Not much good really, is it? Honestly. So I can't bother to go and get another one. I'm just going to put a screw through there like that. So I'm going to drop that screw through there. That'll work. There you go. Perfect. Right. Whilst all this dries, I'm going to go and do some work on Becky's van. Got the ceiling to finish off. The glue is dried. Take a look at this. Really simple, look how nice and smooth that works. No need for any fancy drawer runners, none of that soft closing malarkey, no latches, no catches. Simply pull it out a little bit, lift it, and there you go, it opens. When I put it back in, over the little lip on the bottom, 
locks down into place. That's not gonna come open when I'm driving. Same for the bottom one, lift it a little bit and it opens. Look how much room I've got. I wish I'd done this years ago. All that time I've been putting up with cupboard here. I should have just put drawers here to begin with. There you go. I'm really pleased at how they're turning out. Right, so all I've got to do now is take the handles off, give them a good sanding, and then a coat of paint, and we're done. <laughs> really pleased I've done this. So all I'm going to do is sand the front of these and maybe take the edges off just around the tops of the drawers. Because it's such a nice finished ply, don't really need to sand any more than that. It's literally just the front and around the edges, just to make it look a little bit neater. First, I need to take the handles off. Now remember guys, whenever you're doing any kind of sanding, always wear a mask, it's very important. You only get one set of lungs, make sure you look after them, really important. Right, that looks absolutely fantastic. Let's go find some paint. Let's face it into the light so I can see what I'm doing. Well, watching this video is probably about as interesting as watching someone paint or watching paint dry. So I should stop recording and I'll get right back to you when this is all finished. Well, a few days have passed, well, pretty much a week actually, if I'm honest, but then I've been working on Rebecca's van as well and I've just been doing these drawers in between days. Um, but anyway, nevertheless, I've got them all done now. I've, it worked out just as I visualized it. So there you are. But as you can see, it does look a little bit tatty. My kitchen framework, it's looking a little bit worse for wear. There's bits of paint missing, there's chips everywhere. So now I'm gonna take all the drawers out again and then fill in all the cracks and all the holes where the screws have been taken in and out over the years. And to do that, I've got my favorite car body filler. So I'm gonna use this to fill in all the cracks, then sand it down and paint it and it should look as good as new. <laughs> right. See how easy this is to do? This is a real heavy one, this one, because it's just literally full of tins. <laughs> Luckily, it's windy outside, so I've got the door wide open. And all the dust I'm creating is getting blown straight out of the van. So I'm grateful for that. <laughs> I just can't believe how much mess I've made. What was that filler? Okay. Once that's dried, I can sand it down and give it a coat of paint and then we'll be done. Made a right mess though, I've got to say. Yeah. All nice and smooth, so the drawers run in and out nicely. Slide in and out nicely, I should say. Okay. All right, enough messing around. Let's get some paint on it. Oof, it really is blowy out there today. I've got a minute amount of this left in the bottom of the tin. I'm really hoping I've got enough left to do this little bit. It is a mis minuscule amount. So I've got to be really sparing with it. I thought I had more of this left over. It ain't done bad. I mean, I think I've repainted this kitchen. It's probably got to be the fourth time I've redone this. So it's lasted well, this tin of paint. Yeah, it goes, it goes on really well. It spreads quite well. So, just be careful with the my fridge. I might have to, uh, next time I do any work on this kitchen unit, I may have to buy a different colour tin of paint. <laughs> God forbid I should change the colour. Right. Right, I'm sure you don't really want to watch me paint this. 
because that's going to be pretty boring. I think this video has been going on for long enough now already. So I shall stop recording, carry on painting, and then I'll show you the end result. So stick around. Well, there you go. What a transformation. I'm really pleased with this. Now, whilst I was painting it, I was thinking about what I'm going to use my two new drawers for. Originally, I was thinking I want to put my air fryer in this big drawer. And this one was just, well, for bits and bobs. It's just occurred to me, in the summer, I do like a bit of fresh produce. You know, like potatoes and carrots and broccoli and stuff like that. So I'm thinking this smaller big drawer, that makes sense. The smaller deep drawer, I'm going to turn into a, a, like a larder for me fresh produce, vegetables and fruit and red and green shit, stuff like that. Yeah, I just need some kind of basket to put in there to keep the to keep it aerated you know to stop it going moldy yeah i'm quite quite pleased with that because whenever i've got fresh produce in my van i always struggle to find places to put it especially fruit and vegetables and stuff of that nature <laughs> so that's going to become my fresh produce drawer the air fryer is going to go in there but i'm going to divide that in half so my cleaning products can go to the back of this drawer and the air fryer be at the front. Let's put all the drawers back anyway, see what it looks like. I think I need a new pair of jeans. I'm so pleased I've taken the time to do this. No more deep cupboards I'm rummaging around on my knees. I can simply open the drawer and there's all my crap. <laughs> So there you go, hopefully you found this video mildly entertaining, slightly informative. If you did, then I'm sure you'll find this video just as entertaining. Thanks for watching, and ta-da for now.